everyone, this is Shmo Daddy. Today I'm going to show off some of my Strange Tales and Tales to Astonish books. Alright, starting off, this is Strange Tales number 160. I love these Doctor Strange covers. Alright. Here is 156. Great cover. Did you see these? Most of these are in mid grade, you know, some of them are a little lower. Here's number 154, another great Doctor Strange cover. Love it. I'm not as much a fan of the Nick Fury, you know, stories as I am the Doctor Strange ones, but I'll read them all. It's another great one. Of course, Steve Ditko had already left at this point. Or wait, this might be Ditko, I can't remember. Actually, I think Marie Severin did that. I just picked this one up on eBay the other day. It's Pretty crappy grade. It's got water damage, unfortunately. Alright. Here's another one. I think this is a Kirby cover. So, as you all know, I, I mainly collect silver, bronze, copper age. I don't collect the new books. I'm just not excited by them at all. Not to say there's not new good books out, but it's just not my thing. This one's in very bad shape. I believe I would like to collect number like 102 through, um, you know, all the way up to the Hulk titles and Strange Tales. Just slowly picking them up here and there. Here's another cool cover of the Watcher. He's got a big fat head. I don't understand it, but it's kind of cool. 134. Here's number 132. Yeah. Let's see here. 131. Apologize for the mess in the background here in my room. <laughs> Here's a cool one. It's an early X Men crossover. Torch and the Thing. Quicksilver and uh, Scarlet Witch. Great stuff. Number 116. Sorry about my camera. It's hard to get focus in the right color. It keeps blurring out. Alright, this is a major key right here. Very proud of this book. Strange Tales 110, the first Doctor Strange. Did you get a good glimpse of it? It's in about a 2.0 condition. In fact, I'm positive it's a 2.0 because I'd had it. Uh, I bought it at the CGC, but of course I opened it up. There's no way I was going to not read this one. Very cool book. I recommend anybody to pick this one up. It's so underpriced. I don't know why it's not worth hardly anything. It should be worth a lot more. Great book. And this is my oldest Strange Tales right here. Number 109. Imps from Pandora's Box. Great Jack Kirby artwork. I recommend this story. Great, great book. Alright, now I'm going to show some of my Tales to Astonish books. This is number 98. Cool green cover. For those of you that are Submariner fans, fun stuff. Yeah, this one's in not very good shape. Number 94. I think Jack Kirby did this one. I'm not sure, though. Here's a early Silver Surfer crossover. Yeah. Great cover. Anything with the Surfer and the Hawk in the same issue is definitely fun for me. And here's the other... This one has, like, a cameo of a surfer at the end of it, I believe. Awesome cover. Here. Number 89. And here is Iron Man versus Submariner. 
cool book. Number 92, or 82, sorry. This right here, in my opinion, is a classic cover, although this is actually one of my oldest books. I remember picking this book up when I was a kid. I got this at a flea market for like a dollar, probably like in the early 90s. And I remember just loving this cover, and I had to pick it up, although it's probably in like, you know, good condition or something. It's still great. Something about the way Jack Kirby just, and his dynamism, and his penciling, just look how that Hulk is ready to just pop out and just beat the shit out of somebody. Tales to Astonish 73, another great Watcher cover. Fun stuff. Alright, here's a pretty poor issue I have, but it's still fun to have. Tales to Astonish 67, Hulk and the Giant Man. It's probably about 1, 1 1.5, see it's all beat up right here. Here's another lower grade one. The only thing wrong with it is somebody decided to cut out the picture up there. That was stupid, but I certainly didn't do it. Otherwise, it'd be in fine condition. Number 65. Introducing the new giant man. Yeah. Number 64. Number 62. One of these is the first appearance of a leader. I don't know if it's this one or not. I think it is. There's an early Spider-Man crossover. Yep. Pretty fun book. Another low-grade Tales to Astonish. Love it. Number 53. Giant man trapped by the porcupine. <laughs> Number 50. This one's pretty beat up too, but I still love it. What the heck is the human top? I guess they were uh, scrambling for some characters to draw. I don't know how desperate they were. They had to make a character called the human top. Alright, here's some early Ant-Man. Good stuff. Alright, I'm going to end it on this one. This is, I believe, the fourth appearance of the Ant-Man. Not that that means anything, but it's still a nice book to have. Tales to Astonish, number 37. Alright guys, this is Shmo Daddy, and I will uh, catch you guys later. Hope you all had a great new year. Later.